Hey guys, welcome back to Everyday Faith, day number two. We are jumping in with the scripture today from the Apostle Paul. Uh, and as I've shared, we're going to be going through this month following Paul's life and his story and learning how it can inspire and impact our stories. Uh, so here's the scripture from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 8, which says, Though I am the least deserving of all God's people, He graciously gave me the privilege of telling the Gentiles about the endless treasures available to them in Christ. The Apostle Paul was someone who had a great sense of purpose and clarity for his life. This purpose and clarity required that he share his story, the good, the bad, and the ugly, so others could find hope for their stories. Paul was quick to share how Jesus changed his story, but he was also the first to confess the mistakes, regrets, and wrongs that were also part of his story. And that's the thing about Paul. He told the whole story. While it must have been difficult and even embarrassing to Paul, he owned his story and realized that sharing it with others would point them to the goodness found in Jesus' story. And your story is no different. Your story has the greatest impact when you tell the whole story because that is how Jesus is most glorified. Yeah, right off the bat, I mean, I love this. I love this because it's, you know, Paul begins with, though I am the least deserving of all God's people. Like he recognizes humanity, he recognizes frailty, he recognizes the disappointment that he can be and how undeserving at times he was of, of getting privilege or opportunity or, or receiving God's grace. Yet he was able to bring both together and then I, there's a note in here, you know, it says, even though that must have been difficult or embarrassing, I think that's one of the things that I can relate to a lot is that, you know, I'm a person that's made a lot of mistakes in my own life. And, you know, I've done a lot of wrong things, not just as a kid, as a teenager, but as an adult, you know, things that have led to, to hurt people that I love, my wife, my daughter, a family members, friends, I've disappointed people, I've let them down. Um, you know, sometimes on purpose, sometimes on accident. Uh, and, and those parts of my story, like I'd rather not revisit them. I'd rather not think about them. I'd rather not go back to those days or go back to those memories um, and just kind of almost pretend like it didn't exist because it's embarrassing, quite frankly, and it's shameful. Yet I realized that in that part, when I kind of, when I can own that part of my story and when I can speak that part of my story, it actually shows off the goodness of God and his grace at a better level because it shows the despair that I was in and what God had to do and how God had to come through in order to reveal himself in my story. And the same is true for you. You know, your story matters and it's owning the whole story or when you own the whole story, that's when God or Jesus is most glorified. So let that be kind of uh, just something that you sit with today, just thinking about like, okay, where can I be more honest or where can I be more transparent about my story? Where, what parts of my story do I need to own? the hurts or the regrets or the shame that I've kind of tucked away or swept under the rug or put in a closet somewhere where no one can get to it. Um, let's own that together and uh, let's see God work in that space to bring glory to himself. So there you guys have it. I'll see you back here tomorrow on day number three.